Hi, welcome to Autopilot at Work. Today, this video is one of a series of videos where I would answer questions from some of the subscribers on how to create certain automations on UiPath. And today, this video is to show you how you can split a master sheet into multiple Excel sheets um, based on value on a certain column. And we're going to do it dynamically. And let's look at what we have today. This is a sample Excel file we are going to work on today. Let's say I'm a salesperson and I have customers from different regions. And I have this master file containing contract details of all my customers. And you can see on this sample file, I have two tabs and then each tab I have contract number of my customers and the region they are from. And yeah, I have different regions in one tab and then and then a few other regions in that other. So instead of having them in like one big sheet or, or two sheets, I want to have better view of how many customers I have per region. So the best way to do it is to have them in multiple sheets uh, based on the value in the region corner, column. So I can do it in a manual way. The manual way will be um, to filter it in Excel, like under the data tab. If you click on the filter, you can, you can filter out your region value one by one and then just kind of copy the the data and then paste it into individual Excel sheet, which is um, fine if you have just a few region to copy into. Um, but if you have like thousands of customers or more than four regions in your master sheet, it will be very time consuming and then you I think you can use your time to do something more useful than copy and paste. So let's see what we can do to automate this process in UiPath. Let's open up UiPath Studio and create our first sequence. So in my main sequence, the first activity um, I'm going to create is the Excel application scope. Which I'm going to point to the master file that I have shown you previously. So the location of my master file is saved within the same project folder. And then the first activity after this will be to get all the workbook sheets within the master file. So the next activity is get workbook sheets. And then we will save all the sheets into one variable. I'll call it list of sheets. Do, let's do a control K to set it as a variable. So after we have the list of sheets, we will need to look through each sheet within that list of sheets. So we will need for each loop. So for each sheet in the list of sheets,
So what we are going to do is, is to look through each sheet and then read the range of data within the sheet. We need read range and then the sheet whatever read. Then we will, we will read everything within the sheet. And once we have read it, we will output it into a new data table, which I'll call it DT Tame, which is a temporary data table before we save it to the main data table, which we're going to create later. So control K. And then the next one is to initialize our main data table, which we're going to save all the data from each sheet um, that we have saved it into data tame. So the next one we will initialize um, the main table. If it's if it's null, then we will clone the DT tame. So we will need if statement. So if DT main And we need to declare this as a variable too, as a dt main. If dt main is m is nothing, if it's empty. Let's see what we have. Type boring. Just make sure, make sure your dt main is also a data table variable type. So if it's nothing, then we will clone it. We will need assign activity. So assign to DT main by cloning the DT team. So this is how we initialize it if it's if it's now and so once we have initialized it we will need another activity which is merge data table so we want to merge all the excel sheet into one data table so how do we do it? We'll need to take the DT team as source and then add it into our DT main. So from here you can see the missing schema action we will select at. So we just keep adding DT team into DT main. And then each time we have added into DT main, we need to clear the data within the DT team before the next iteration. So we will use the clear data table. We'll clear up DT team. So that's how we are merging multiple sheets into one. Um, the next things we will need to do, once we have everything within one single DT main, we will need to loop through the data table to look at the column where we would like to save it into individual Excel sheet. So we look at the region column, which I have shown you previously. This is the column where we determine 
what data should be saved into which sheet. So we want to save all the contract numbers from each region into individual sheet. So how we're going to do it is to look through each row and look at the column value, the region column value. The next activity we need is for each loop. So for, for each row in data table, because we need to look through the DT main and then we will assign a variable we will assign the variable to the value within the region column so let's call it region Look at the look at each row of the region column and then make sure we save it into a string. Make sure we convert it into a string. So each value within the region column will be saved as a region variable. So the next thing is to write them into Excel sheet based on the region. So we will need to write range workbook. Here we can define the output file. I'll call it output Excel and then the sheet name will be region because we want to name it according to the regional the region value and then the cell will be A1 which is the start the first cell and the next thing is the data table. How are we going to save individual region into each Excel sheet? Is by doing what we would do if we were to filter it individually within Excel but we can do the filtering in UiPath too. So here, we'll define the, the data table, which is DT main, and then we use the method called select. Select the region column. So here, single quote, double quote, and so we filter the region based on the variable here called region. So this is our filter expression. We filter it based on the the region variable that we just we have just declared. So we need another plus sign. And we need another 
the double quote and single quote. So this is how we define the filter expression and then we need to copy it to the data table. So this is how we can easily dynamically split a single or multiple Excel sheet into different sheets based on the value of a certain column. So let's run the workflow and see what output do we get. Open up the output file. So you can see we have split the region into different sheets based on the value of the region column. Okay, one thing is missing is the header. I think I might have forgotten to add the header, which is fine. We can simply go back to the right range workbook activity and just make sure you check the add headers options. Look at the output file again. You can see now we have the header. So that is all um, on how to dynamically split the master sheet into different Excel sheets based on a value of a column. And in our example, it is the region column. Let me help you find this video and if you have any questions or any comments, uh, feel free to reach out to me in the comments section and I will try my best to respond to your question or uh, if you have any great idea for the next video, please let me know. And that's all for this video. I uh, hope to see you in the next one. Ciao.